Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Welcome. I am Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your live kettlebell sweat and sculpt workout. So we've had a few weeks off from our Saturday live workouts, so I'm excited to be back. I hope you are too. You might notice that I am a different setting. We have been traveling, as many of you know, if you follow me on social media, and I am currently in Michigan. It's very cold in this garage, in my brother and sister-in-law's garage. I know a lot of you guys work out in your, with me in your garages. Uh, my studio at home is actually also in my garage. So it is the perfect setting, but that's why it looks a little bit different. And uh, we actually have a lot of good space and equipment to work, to work with. So I'm really excited. If you are joining for the first time in these live workouts, I will give you tons of options depending on your fitness level. I also, in the live workouts, give options for pregnancy or if you are early postpartum, as in you're just getting back to exercise the first few weeks or months um, after having your baby, or if you know that you have diastasis recti ab separation, you wanna modify a little bit. So I will call those things out, but there are many reasons to modify. So you work to your fitness level, be where you are today. As I always say, I just want you to stay safe and keep moving. If you showed up today, you are successful. So we are gonna be working with a kettlebell in our sweat and sculpt format. Maybe you saw a few of my other videos with that. It's pretty fun. But if you don't have a kettlebell, just grab a dumbbell or whatever you have at home. Again, we are here just to move our bodies. All right, so I'm gonna be working between a 15 pound kettlebell, and I'm actually not even sure. I think that one's 25. So some of the heavier stuff, the swings, I will do with the um, 25, but mostly I'll be working with 15. You work with what is best for you. Okay, so give yourself a little bit of space. We're gonna go ahead and get a quick little warm up. You add more if you need to. And at the end of this live workout, like I've been doing with all, I'm gonna grab my phone because I don't have my laptop. And if you have any questions, I will try to answer them as I can. Let's do it. Here we go. So just start marching or you can jog whatever feels good for you. Roll through those shoulders. Let's get warm and to the front and back. Big deep breath in and out. One more and out. Lean into those hips. I want you to rotate through your shoulders. So our sweat and sculpt format is going to be one sweat move using our kettlebell. Walk those feet and roll through your back. So we'll use the weight, but the goal will be more to get your heart rate up, get a little more of a sweat going. Hold it here, roll the shoulders. Cardio base, but full body. Then our sculpt move is gonna be a compound move where we get a lot of things working, upper and lower and some core, and really work on that toning, that strengthening, that sculpting. Round it up, tap and reach across. Turn the knees and the hips. So sweat and sculpt. Then we go back to a quick sweat move without the weight, and then we add a little core. So these circuits will go quick. Our aim is going to be about 35 minutes. If you've done any of these live workouts with me before, you know that sometimes I go a little bit over. We'll see how it goes today. Flex and bring it up, but about 35 minutes and with a quick cool down and stretch. And then I will say hi and answer some questions. So let's bring those knees up, bring them in. Hopefully you're starting to feel warm. Remember these dynamic warm ups. Our goal is just to get everything moving and get movement prep for the exercises that we're going to do. And we'll do more static stretching, cooling down at the end. Okay, so you go ahead and march it out or jog it out. Keep your feet moving while I talk through our first little circuit. So I'm gonna grab my kettlebell, my 15. Your first sweat move is going to be a little squat to a lunge. So a couple of options. You're gonna drop your weight down in front, toss it, lunge it back, drop it down, toss it, lunge it back. Of course, you can always do this without the weight or you can keep that weight stationary, either low or high. Do what's best for you. If you don't wanna get low in the lunge, just step it back. Get that heart rate up, get a lot of things working. 
Our sculpting move, we're gonna take it with that sumo plie squat, drop it down. We're gonna do that row and then we'll switch in between. We'll add a few little pulsing circuits at the end. And then we'll drop it down for some core after our sculpt move again. Man, this kettlebell is cold in this garage. All right, go ahead and start here. Shoulders back, sweat move. Here we go. Drop it down, toss it to yourself, lunge it down. Drop it down. We're gonna go about a minute. I know that feels long, but you can go whatever pace works for you. I want you to keep it slow so we're not letting that weight pull us forward and we can still get low in the squat, low in the lunge. But just by adding the weight and these compound moves, you should feel that heart rate get up pretty quickly. We're over halfway there, I know. And breathe. Drop it down, bring it up. How we doing? Are you feeling those legs burning yet? And then of course, arms, biceps working as well. And then that heart rate, right? Five, four, three, two, one. And breathe, give your hands a little break. Shake out those legs, heart should be pumping, right? Let's sculpt. Toes out in that plie. I want you to think about getting that flat back down, row, and then switch from that weight or that kettlebell at the top. You can start in either hand, doesn't matter. Zip up in that core, arm out, flat back, ready. Whew, my heart's pumping. I hope, you're, hope yours is too. Here we go. Take it down, up, and switch. So watch my back and my chest. I'm dropping it low so I get in that nice, good row position. We wanna make sure we really get that hinge. So it's a little bit of a plie sumo deadlift, right? It's not just your regular squat. We're actually dropping the chest. Good, keep breathing. Drop it low. Legs are out nice and wide really squeezing up through the inner thighs and the glutes. Good, let's go four more like this. As, last two. Good, I want you to watch me here. We're gonna pulse it, so drop it low. We're gonna pulse three, two, one, and the legs row all the way up and switch. Down, pulse in the legs. Three, two, one. Row, up and switch. Leg pulse, three, two, one. Elbow up strong in your back. Here we go. Three, two, one. Strong row. Four more, pulse the legs. Three, two, one. Flat back row. Three, two, one. Good, last two. One more. I know these sculpt circuits are gonna be long, but remember we only do them once. Watch me here. Pulse in the upper. Pulse three, two, one, down and up. Low, row, pulse three, two, one. So it's in your back. Three, two, squeeze in the shoulder blades, all the way up. Three, two, one. Four more, then sculpting is done, I know. Three, two, one. All the way up, squeezing the glutes. Three, two, one. Last two. Three, two, one. One more. Yes! Put your kettlebell or your weight out of the way. Shake it out. Whew. So that's what it's gonna look, guys, look like from sweat to sculpt. Now we're gonna go back to that sweat move, but no weight, and we're actually gonna take the deep squat and lunge out of it. So what I want you to do is just go out here, out here. So it's more cardio, not as much burn on that leg since we just got all those sumo squats, but let's get quick 30 seconds, all sweat, out, back, out, back, ready. Here we go. Low impact, you just step out, step back. Step out, 
tap back. If you really want the challenge, you can drop it low to that squat and that lunge, but those legs are tired, so out here. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Ha -ha. Everybody grab a quick sip of water and we're gonna get some core. All right, I'm warm now. Now I'm thankful for this cold garage. Okay, team. Ha -ha. How about a little bit of core? Let's keep our weight with us. All right, come down onto your side and then on to your back. So if you are in that pregnancy or early postpartum, you lift up, hold, push into that kettlebell, drop it low, and you're just doing a bridge. You're still focused on that core, but we're moving through the bridge. Everybody else, if we can. Everything back. If that feels any, it's gonna pull, right? We're gonna feel that core having to stabilize. So that's where we are. Especially if you're pre or post, I want you to just do a bridge, but focus on that core. Everybody else, let's keep it here. Knee in. Extend all the way out, deep core. So you really have to fight. Keep that belly button pulled in. Think about your hips coming towards each other and towards your wrist. 10 seconds. Yes. Whew. Breathe. Five, four, three, two. Relax. How are we doing, guys? All right, go ahead and bring it up. Whew. You got about a minute to breathe. You can grab some water. I would love for you to keep moving if you wanna jog it out or tap it out or just go back to that cardio sweat move we did before. While you're doing that, you pick. You can keep moving, you can get a real break. I'm gonna talk through our next circuit. So, our sweat move with our kettlebell, we're gonna go 30 seconds each side. We're coming across our body, here to here. If you are pre or post or DR, I don't want you to do too much of a twist. Everybody else, if you wanna really try to get that elbow on the opposite side of the knee, you can. So we'll go 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. Heart rate, arms, core, right? And then we're gonna take it each side with our gunslinger lunge curl. So we'll go like this. We're gonna swing it and here, and then we'll add some pulses at the end. Are we ready? 30 seconds, my right, your left, here we go. Again, remember, when we're doing the sweat move with the weight, we don't need or want to go super fast. The last thing I want you to do is to be throwing that weight around. So keep it controlled, keep it tight in your core, and you're gonna get that heart rate up. Either way, just because it takes more energy to lift the weight, right? Breathe, five, four, three, two, switch your sides. Think about that core, it's a core move too. If that starts to feel like too much, again, you can do everything without the weight. Still crossing for core, unless you're pre or post, and then just keep it center. 10 seconds, how's that heart rate? It's up, right? Sweat move with our kettlebell. Three, two, one, relax. Give your hands a little bit of a break. Shake it out. Watch me here. Each side independently, we're gonna turn into a lunge. So gunslinger curl, you're gonna sling it, catch it, drop it in a lunge, back to center. If you need a little help, I want you to keep that hand and bring it here, just like that, all right? Starting on one side, then we'll go to the other, sling it, lunge it, here we go drop it down. It's gonna use a little bit of momentum. It's 
what we love about this move. You can get a little heavier because you get a little power into it. But again, if you need that hand, keep that hand here, drop it down. You can also pick up your feet. I don't want you to think that you have to pivot depending on what kind of floor you have. And here and up. Good. Let's go four and back. Three. Ooh. Who's feeling it? Two. Last one. Hold it here. Turn to the side. Hand on the back. Hand here. Nice staggered stance. Watch me. Three, two, one. Power it up, right? Three, two, one. And power. If you need this hand, three, two, one. Use that hand here. Three. Ha! Ah, yes. Four more just like this. Be where you are today. Burn in the legs. Burn in that bicep. Stabilize in your core. Two more like this. One more. Yes. Let's switch it. Hold it here. Three, two, one. All the way down. Three, two, one. Chances are, unless you have a really light kettlebell, it's really hard to do the pulse without that support. So keep it here. Pulsing with both. Four more. Yes, don't forget about that core. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Last one, yes! Ah! Oh man, you guys, right? Stretch out. So, that's what we love about that gunslinger curl. So we can usually get a little heavier and get that pulse. Switch your sides. Hopefully you feel that heart rate too. We're getting our sweat while we're getting our sculpt. Other side, watch me first. Turn into it, catch it at the top, drop it in the lunge. You can pick your feet up or you can pivot whatever feels better for you. Here we go. Drop it down. You're catching the back of that kettlebell or the back of that weight. If you've got a dumbbell, you might be fine just to curl or use that opposite hand. Again, remember, if you've got a heavier one, use that hand to get it there. Ah! And watch your balance just like that. And breathe. Whenever you need to use that hand, add it in. Four more right here. Four. Yes. Three. Two. Last one. Hold it here. Drop it down. Three, two. Pulse on the legs for three. Power it up. Three, two, one. Power with that curl. If you need to, use that hand to get it up. Three, two, four more right here. Get low. I know those legs are tired. Three, two, one. Yes. I know. I'm feeling it too. Keep breathing. Drop that back knee. Last one. Use the core for balance. Keep that hand here. Pulse. Three, two, with the biceps. All the way down, all the way up. Three, two, one. Down and up. Pulse. Small movement, but lots of sculpting. Four more. Then the sculpt move is done. Ha! If you've done my other live sculpt, sweat and sculpt, or my dumbbell one, last one, you're familiar with this. Good, relax. Ooh, I was getting tired at the end. I could feel my form. If you've done those, you know that the sculpt is the long part, the burning part, but we only do it once. All right, guys, catch your breath. Whew. Shake those out, little tap. We're gonna go back to our sweat, but no weights. This means we can get a little quicker, okay? So 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. Twist if you can, if it's appropriate for you. Here we go, sweat it out. Bring that elbow to knee. 
You can keep it grounded here, low impact, or you can add that jump. It's up to you. That jump is gonna keep that leg burning. It's already feeling it. Don't forget about your core. Pull in and twist. Yes. Three, two, one. Other side, here we go, pull strong. Twist if you can, a little jump if you want. Controlled, heart rate's getting up. Then we get water, we get some core. Yes, keep it going, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, breathe. Ha 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 ha. Grab a quick sip of water. Nice job, team. Woo. Ha. All right. Woo. In the home stretch, right? Almost there, as I always say. All right, grab that kettlebell. Come down, starting on all fours. Put that kettlebell right in the center. Watch me here. You're gonna have it a little bit out in front of your body. So, modification. If you wanna keep moving with those knees, you can, but don't worry, bring it down here, it will be fast. Modification, that kettlebell is about an arm's length in front. You're just gonna tap, tap, and then you're gonna take your, tap your foot out, foot out. Tap, 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 tap. If you can, guys, watch me. We're gonna tap, tap, jump it forward, knee, knee, walk or jump it back. Join me, zip up, here we go. Tap for two, walk it up forward, hands and knees, till it's right between your hands, knees, knees, walk it back. We're here, tap, tap, little jump, knees, knees, little jump, jump. Tap, tap, knees, knees, walk it back. Remember that modification, keep it going. I know it's long, but you can do it. You can stay on those knees and just reach for it. Core's engaged, tap, core's engaged. Tap, tap, extend the leg. Keep it going, guys, 15 seconds, tap. Walk it up, knee across. Walk it back. One more. Knee, knee. Yes. Relax. A little different, right? <laughs> All right. Bring it up. Grab a quick sip if you need it. We are getting there, guys. I know. All right. So if you want, jog it out or tap it out or Take those knees opposite while I explain this next circuit, right? Whew. All right, guys. So you've got your kettlebell. We're going to bring it all the way up and drop it in that curtsy or that skater all the way down. So not so different than the beginning, but we're going to go all the way up with it. So core's in tight. You can keep it here or you can keep it here. Curtsy lunge or think of it like that skater. Feels like too much? No kettlebell and just do body weight. That is going to be our sweat, right? All right, team. And then we're gonna take it here, Whoo! right? So one foot forward, we're just staggered. We're gonna go triceps, bring it forward, hinge into a deadlift, bring it all the way up, triceps modification, just do a kickstand deadlift. That leg doesn't have to go off the ground. Make sense? All right, so get ready. We'll go each side, starting here, kettlebell in the center, all the way up, curtsy it back. Here we go. Here, pull through, up, curtsy, back to center. Down, pull through, or keep it chest level. Down, chest, a little easier on control and on your back. So if this feels better, just keep it here. Or again, you can do no weight. We're keeping it slow, we're keeping it controlled. Even though it's a sweat cardio move, because we've got the weight, we don't wanna be pulling in that back. We wanna keep the control. 
Keep it going. You get 20 seconds. Yes. Bring it down. Bring it up. 10 seconds. Hopefully you feel that heart rate, feel those legs. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good. How's it feeling? Turn to your side, zip up in that core. One foot forward, one foot back. Nice and secure. Modification first. Up, triceps behind your head. Bring it center. Keep the feet planted, but hinge into that front leg and bring it up. Or leg off the ground. You're one-legged. Ah! Either one. Hopefully you have better balance than me. Here we go. We'll keep it short. Over the head. Leg up if you can. Back to center. Press tries. Kickstand if you need it. Front leg is still taking more of the work. Up. And down. Up. And down. Ah! Oh my goodness, you guys. Keep it going. Four more. Four. But that's why I give you that option of that kickstand. Not all of us have great balance, including me. Keep your. One more. Here we go, guys. Take it up top. Watch me. We're just going to pulse. We're going to mix it up. So just keep that pulse. Keep the abs engaged. No three, two, one on this. Just pulse those elbows behind your head. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax. Take it forward. Kettlebell or dumbbell on the ground. I want you to pulse that leg up. Up. Squeeze. If you need to, take those hands down or keep it a little higher. Just squeeze in that glute, front leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax, stretch out that front leg. Ha ah, ha other side. Whew. We're in the home stretch, guys. All right, so bring it all the way up. Triceps other side, and then either your kickstand lunge or your kickstand deadlift or your one-legged. Are we ready, guys? Whew. Here we go. Bring it up. Abs in tight. Here we go. Over, tricep, down center. Kickstand deadlift or leg up. Up. Don't forget about that core. It's keeping you bound. So zip up and in. Triceps. And down. Whew. There we go. Four more. Yes. Staying centered. Ah, if I don't talk as much, I have a little better balance, right? Maybe you too. But it feels weird, I know. Yes. Last one, right? But then I forget my counting. Ah! Bring it up. Pulses, triceps. So you're here, nice and steady. Elbows in, right by your ears. Yes. Ah. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop it down, find your balance. Hands on the kettlebell or all the way down. Pulse that back leg, core zipped. Squeeze in that back glute. Good, breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stretch, oh, sculpt. Whew. Kettlebell out of the way. Shake it out. You got 30 seconds, tap curtsy or little skater last sweat of this circuit then some core then home stretch here we go tap it down curtsy breathe or here ha 
you want to add a little jump, down. Whose legs are burning? I know mine are. Breathe. 10 seconds. For five, four, three, two, one. Ha ha ha. Quick sip. Down for some core, guys. And then bonus move, right? All right, guys. On to your side. Kettlebell in the front. Bring it here. You can be knees. You can be all the way up. Why do we love side planks? Because we can do them any time, right? So knees. If you're on your knees, let's have that top foot here. We're all the way up. Find your balance. Bring it up and hold with me here. Breathe. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to drop it down. Bring that top knee in for a crunch. You can have that knee here. Down, knee crunch. If you want to just hold, that works too. Join me when you're ready. And up, down, knee crunch. Good. Last four, three, two, one. Yes. Swing those legs around to the other side. Side plank is great for everybody. If you need to modify, just stay on those knees. Zip up in the core. Top leg here. Knees or toes. Find your balance. Halfway through, we'll add a little crunch at the top. So hold it here. Bring it up. Here we go. Find that form. Elbow beneath the shoulder. Drop the knee. All right. And then hand over. Down. Knee in. You can keep that lower knee down if that gives you a little more support. Or all the way up. One side is going to be a little harder for me. It's this side. That's normal. Last four right here. Four, three, two, one more. Yes, good. Relax. Ah! All right, guys, we're going to get a little more core and we got to do some swings, right? So instead of a bonus move, we're going to call this our bonus round. We will make it short. We're going to do some swings and we're going to do some core. So our swings are our sweat, full body move, and our core is going to be our sculpting. I will give you different options. So get that kettlebell. If you got something heavier, go for it. Kettlebell in the center. If you've never seen how to do a swing video, please check it out. If you're not comfortable doing a swing, take it with just a two-legged deadlift, a hinge, just like this. If you can, let's prep it back for three, power it up, lock it out at the top. Here we go. Eyes up, shoulders back, chest low. Three, two, one, power up. <sighs> Breathe. This kettlebell does not have to get very high. In fact, if it's heavy, especially, we want to keep it lower. That helps us lock out at the top so we're not arching the back. <sighs> Breathe as you lock everything out. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it swing and relax. Pedal those feet and breathe. I want you to come on your knees, kettlebell in the center. You can bring it down if you want. On your knees, modification, watch me one side. We're gonna go down and up, down and up. So down on your elbow, press it up. Stay on the knees for modification, especially if you're pre or post or DR. If you can, up on those hands. Here we go, one side, down, up. So we're sneaking a little bit of chest and shoulders along with that core. Four more. Four, here is fine too. Three, two, one. Other side. Take it down, take it up. Down and up. Trying to keep those hips square and that kettlebell right in the center. Four, up, three, two, one. Relax, stretch it back. Back up on your feet, guys. 
into that swing. We are so close. In the center, deadlift if you need to, or swing it here, eyes up, prep it back. Three, two, one, power. Lock out of the top, zip up in that core. Again, remember, kettlebell is chest level or below. We're not doing that American swing or overhead swing. We're gonna keep it low, it's back loaded. Lock out the knees, your glutes, your back, your core. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Relax it down. Pedal those feet. Ah! Whoo! Turn it here. Back down. This time, full plank press. Down, down, up, up. Either side of the kettlebell. Down, down, up, up. Stay on your knees if you need to. Pop it up in the plank if you can. Here we go. Down, down, up. Up, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. You can also be here if that's a better modification. However, if you are pre and post, I want you to stay knees so you have extra support. That weight is not down on that core. Four more, four, three, two, last one, stretch. Swing it one more time. I think we can get it in. Bring it up, shoulders back. Last bonus round move, eyes up, power. I know you're tired, but keep that good form. Here we go. Up, lock out in the glutes, lock out in the core. Focus on that form and your breath. As you breathe out, tighten everything. So close, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax, pedal those feet. You did it, Woo! keep it here. If you need to come a little higher, put your hands on a chair, that works too. And breathe. Let's put one foot forward, hips back. Ha. You can have hands here as well. Hopefully that moved fast for you. Do have a few other sweat and sculpt format videos on the channel. Make sure you check out all of my other playlists. You will see playlists for kettlebell, for dumbbells, for all different types of equipment or different lengths of videos. If you're looking for a 10 minute, five minute, if you want to look for a cardio or an upper or a lower or a core, check out those playlists list. And of course, check the links in the description below. I will add them. We will have uh, information on my eBooks and programs and my four week nutrition guide. They're all very practical approaches to health and fitness. Take those legs out wide, lean into it. If you can, take that arm across, roll through. And of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That helps me out. So please hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications whenever I release a new video, when I'm doing a live video, when I have challenges coming up, like my holiday hit challenge, which is coming up starting on Monday. So check it out, reach behind and take it up ah, over to one side. Ah, thank you so much for showing up today, working out with me, being where you are today, and keeping moving. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your kettlebell sweat and sculpt workout. Great job, everybody. Good work team. How do we do? I think I got it in on time, right? So I ride at 35 minutes before the cool down. All right, so I don't want my laptop today because I'm not at home, but oh, hey, Lisa, you're here. Awesome. All right, guys, so um, I'm gonna try to run three through these. Hey, Cassie. <laughs> also watching the Michigan games. Yay, awesome. It's so fun to see some familiar faces. Kathy, Aaron, Donna. Donna from Pasadena, not far from me. 
Houston, Illinois, Minnesota. Natalie, you're back. Awesome, guys. So I may still be traveling back next week. We were traveling with family. We, got, we had to adjust our plans a little bit. to be very careful with COVID. But um, we do have a long drive back to California. So I'm not sure if we will have a live workout next Saturday. But after that, we plan to have live workouts on Saturdays through the holidays. Um, also, if you haven't already, check out my homepage. All you have to do is my newsletter. You can find that on the homepage or on my webpage. And it is a free challenge, and we're just doing HIIT workouts throughout the holiday season from this Monday through Christmas Day. So check that out. It's completely free. It should be a lot of fun. Let's see. Yay! Vivian is here. Marilyn in the house. Speaking of Vivian, she is our body fit nutrition director. She is going to be providing, um, holiday healthy holiday hack recipes in the holiday hit challenge and also guys today i'm doing a small business saturday sale on my ebooks and programs use the code thank you for 10 percent off if you want to check that out including the nutrition guide hey becky is here oh my goodness so she wants to know what your heart rate would be for an almost 40 year old woman when exercising so listen guys so there is a heart rate um an easy formula 220 minus your age, so 220 minus 40, which would be 180. That would be what we call your maximum heart rate. There is a more complicated um, Karovian, Karova, I don't know how you say it, but I studied it. Formula, if you want to look that up, but, but the best way is to put that in, and then you want to be around 65 to 85% maximum heart rate. So 65 to 85% of 180. That's sort of a general way, but honestly, guys, I would much rather you listen to your body rate of perceived exertion, RPE, of one to 10. And you wanna be in that range to really get that heart rate up if you're doing a strength and cardio workout, but making sure that you're not at a nine or 10 the whole time that you're averaging around a six to eight. Hopefully that makes sense. Yay, Koch is here on the other side of the city. Awesome, Emily, you're back, yay. Um, Barbara from New York. Everybody's looking forward to the challenge. Sarah, hi. Awesome, guys. All right, let's see if I have any more questions. Um, let's see, Melanie, yay. Melanie is one of my superstars. Oh, good, you have friends. Yes, tell your friends about the Holiday Hit Challenge. Again, the only thing you need to do is make sure you're signed up for my newsletter. You can find it on the homepage of YouTube or also in uh, on my website. I'll also add some links in the description down here when I am done. Um, let's see. Yay, Jesse says kettlebell ones, especially because all that's all I have at home. Listen, guys, you can always use whatever you got. And remember, I have tons of equipment workouts as well. Use what you have, get your body moving. Yay, Robert Ventura doing your videos pretty much daily. Yes, first time with the live workout. Awesome, guys. Jeff and Maryland, New Jersey. This makes me so happy, you guys. I have missed you. We are gonna get back on the wagon. Like I said, we had plans to come see family, which we did, but we had to modify a little bit to be safe for COVID. But it has been quite the adventure, driving cross country with a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Maybe I'll write a blog about it later. I have no tips except, you know, just uh, think of it as an adventure. <laughs> anyway, we've had a great time. Uh, so we should be back in about a week and then we will get back on these Um, and again, because it's Small Business Saturday, I just want to say a big thank you for supporting small business, watching the YouTube channel, subscribing. So again, if you want to help me out, make sure that you are subscribed, telling your friends. And then, of course, if you're looking for some more structured programs or a nutrition, check out amy.com shop. You can check out any of the ebooks or programs or nutrition guide. Use the code thank you for 10% off. But I'm so thankful in this week of Thanksgiving here in the US. Um, really thankful to all of you guys for doing the videos, for keeping moving with me. I know it's been a tough year and movement and exercise has been a huge part of helping us stay healthy and sane, right? So keep it up, we got more coming. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll add some links as soon as I'm done here so you can check out the Holiday Hit Challenge. Um, thanks so much for joining, guys. Whoo, that was fun, that was hard, right? Yay, all right, guys. I will see you next time. Make sure you're subscribed so you know the next time I do a hit workout or a live workout probably in two weeks. See you then. Thanks for showing up.